guess what? What? Finally, we made it. Yeah, to the Little Big Pit Studios. Is it real? Or is it just a dream? Can you feel? What's going on is wrong. Is it real? Yeah, yeah. Tell me, what do you feel? Performing in a live studio situation is a different experience, but I think it's an exhilarating experience. And also kind of challenging. You know, you're shooting for perfection the first time around, like a like one take <laughs> perfection. But the energy from the audience is something that's great. And I would like to take that with me for all my records. <laughs> Moving forward. I think it's the the mixture you need of going for that perfection without being like maybe too tensed and still stay loose and have a good performance also. Well, in the beginning, I started out young as a gymnast. Then I come out of that, and then after I finished with that, I, was in, I ran track, track and field. More team sports, so I come from those things. And then I began singing later, and then I got into theater in New York, like a kind of like Harlem theater and different kind of theater productions. And, and then I wanted to become a recording artist and got to do that. And then I went to engineering school, I did that. And I mean, lots of things. And on television, I'm working on a Dancing with the Stars in America. And then I wrote a play and we just debuted it and I have a label and then I have solo projects. <laughs> so, I mean, I have my hands maybe in a lot of, you know, pots, but I feel like um, if I'm not being creative in some way, that it's like a slow death for me. Mm. I have to be creating something. I'm a songwriter, very old-fashioned. I don't even have a computer I can record with. So I take a piece of paper and a pen and I write a song, I write the chords. It's very old-fashioned. And then I present it to her and she said, yeah, we can do that or we don't like it. Sometimes, you know, it's just it's a scrappy idea or whatever. And if we're heading for a record, I go for a good producer that I trust. The first two records with Ernie McCone and then we had Irene Janos, Vlado Chihan, or this just, just proper guys who know arranging, producing very well. And then we go into studio production. They need to know our sound, so I'm always there. That's the way it works. So when this is done, we go into rehearsing the songs, new songs, maybe write some horn sections we don't have on the record. The studio is just maybe a basis for what we do live then, so we alter that then later, and so it all comes together. Kelly lives in New York, so she has to fly in from New York, and my drama lives in Berlin, so it's like a flea circus, you know. It's a bit tricky, and it's always nice when it comes together. So once everybody's here, I'm so happy and pleased, and then we can start and have the energy on stage. But before that, mm, it's a lot of work. When I think of Dirk, I think of, as a musician, solid professional, you want to know that the drummer has your back. Because for me, it's probably the most important musician up there. He's holding, he's the foundation. So I, what I think of is just solid as a rock. You know? I, I think of Lewis though, I think of uh, the cherry on the ice cream, you know? And it's just, without that extra rhythm, I, it just makes everything for me just a little bit more like magic sprinkles, you know, what he adds to it. And I think he always plays the most tasteful things in the right spot. ready musician you can totally rely on and he never messes up and besides that he's a very good friend of mine I, I think I shared a stage with him since 1980
थी When I went to London to record the first Count Basic record with Ernie McCone in Ernie McCone's studio, the only musician I brought with me for that record was Dieter. So I think that says everything about the importance of having a solid keyboard player with me. You know, he knows all the songs, he knows all the voicings, and so he's my main man. Martin, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like Martin uh, is, is, for me, is just spot on and make sure that that section is lickety tight, you know? So I just think he's an incredible musician at the highest level. Josef Burchertz, we come up with really complicated stuff, but he's always able to manage that and play on a very high level, very solidly, and a fun guy. You know, I don't know Robert that long, but I can just speak of his musicianship. He just really integrates really well with us and always just adds exactly what we need in the section. So. I like the girls, I mean Vanya in particular, I like when people really care about what they're doing and give it their best effort to learn the music, to try to get the sound down and all of that. And I think she definitely is a good team player. She's actually um, new in the band. We didn't have her for so long, and she's very professional. She really learned the stuff very quick and very intense, so she's totally into it. And secondly, she's just a very nice person to have with us. You need not only good musicians, but also people you can be on a nightliner with easily, you know, like for a couple of weeks. So it needs to be you need to be connected on uh, uh, different levels, not only musically, you know. Yeah. And I think all of the people in the band are just nice people that you'd like to hang around with too. Yeah. But it's a super, super important aspect, I think. Because I think it's even better when everybody like genuinely likes each other and can come on the stage and I'm always pushing for fun. I'm always like, hey, let's just, let's just have a good time because in the grand scheme of life, what we're doing is a privilege, so we should act accordingly. It's a privilege to do this, so I think we shouldn't take it just too seriously. It's like it's Friday, like it's your birthday, like it's raining million dollars. It's a very nice environment here. With the people, the room, everything is just perfect. It's a privilege for us to be here. I feel like we're kind of like part of a, a kind of elite group of people so far. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know more musicians will come and then they'll be part of that elite group too. And what you're doing, I think, is kind of a really a wonderful contribution to the community, to the musical community. Mm -hmm.